Hello everyone and welcome to Lily Sky Messages. This is the intro part of the video for July 2022 and your tarot reading for your zodiac sign will be followed. So we have the first quarter moon happening on the 6th and 7th in Libra. We have the full moon on the 13th in Capricorn. The high peak will be at 11.37 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Last quarter moon on the 20th in Taurus. New moon on the 28th in Leo. High peak is at 10.54 a.m. And why do we care about these days? Well, we can use it for our own traditional rituals. We can use it for meditation and to manifest. And as always, all the moon days are important when the moon is in waning and waxing. And you do this for your daily happy practice. I put it down pretty simple with a little smiley face there. Why do we do anything? We move more towards joy than pain. That's just psychology. That's just how the brain works. So that's how it is, right? We do what we enjoy. So please click like if you enjoy my videos, if you enjoy my content, help the algorithm and people find this page. And let's get on to your zodiac sign personal reading as always. Watch your sun sign, your moon sign for emotional advice and, and to see what is being predicted and what you connect with. Then your rising sign is going to be for where you need to strive towards in life. So you can end up watching three videos if you're looking for love, what sign is in your Venus. So you can also tap into that to see what happens. Okay, so you end up watching three or four. All right, but your rising sign will definitely affect your daily life a lot as well as your sun sign. All right, so enjoy and I will see you guys later. Peace. Hello, wonderful Aquarius. Yes, this is your reading. Sit back, relax, get some tea, get your drink, relax. Positive mind, positive vibes. See what messages come through here for Aquarius July 2022 happy July all right see what messages that comes through that works for you right all of the big signs for Aquarius Sun moon north node right all right Aquarius the first one that pops out is the Emperor here for you okay Ten of Cups, Judgment card, the Temperance card. Look at that. You have three major arcanas there. I just love how the Ten of Cups looks here. Nine of Wands. Oh my gosh, Seven of Wands. They, they're, they're showing out. Um, four of Swords right here, the Lover's card. Three of Cups. I love the Lover's card, and I love the Three of Cups, and I love the Queen of Pentacles, and I love... To see when something needs to end, it hurts, but it will be all right. And then you have the Three of Cups. So you're looking at the Emperor, right? You're looking at this Emperor energy. And this Emperor energy is so powerful because, it, you know, we don't think about sometimes the behind the scene work that someone does to get somewhere. And the Emperor is so strong and so in its structure and so in its own authority. This could be your main goal right now, right? And you have so much potential to get there. And this month of July is so favorable for you. It is so favorable. You're gonna step into so much power. You're gonna experience a lot of joy and really feel the need for just relax and to think about all the work, all the process that you've been through. And it's going to relax you and lead you open to more fun with people that love and care about you. You're going to be more focused and determined and happy. And you're going to even welcome love in your life. If you already have love in your life, it's going to spark and bring more love in your life. But you are really focused on just being in your own power and enjoying your own power being in your own power enjoying your own power right and knowing exactly what you want and then even if you don't know what you want you have that fighting energy to say you know what i 
I'm feeling very strong in, in this Mars energy, right? I'm feeling very fiery, very determined in my energy. And you're feeling that you need to set up structure or have your own law. Like, you know, don't cross the line here. I'm my own power. I have my own leadership. And once you tap into that energy, you are so on the path of connecting to your Ten of Cups. When you connect to your Ten of Cups, you've already been doing the work, but now you're hitting this happiness, this feeling of completion or fulfillment. You're feeling more secure. And this could be in your home, just having more harmony, more structure. I'm kicking this thing here. Just feeling more at peace with with who you are where you are right now and realizing that you still have some more goals to accomplish mm -mm -mm. yes you still have some more goals to accomplish you still have the energy of of learning about how to create more balance in your life and maybe even having more patience and avoid feeling like you have to be extreme about about certain things maybe kind of be in the middle where you're not going to get dragged into things that will just create more chaos or put blame on you, right? So if anyone's having drama, be the one that maintains a sense of calm and peace is what this angel is saying to you. And how wise is that? Bringing more peace and balance into your life and more harmony. And let them know straight up, I don't need this drama in my life, right? And you might get a little backlash from that, but it'll be less than having to protect your energy from people trying to attack you for things you didn't even start. And then you're going to be celebrating your own personal win or celebrating, you know, missing an arrow or missing some more negativity that you don't need. And you're going to find peace and rest in that after really fighting for your own sanity and peace and even ending any kind of relationship that you don't need anymore. Okay? And moving yourself forward to better relationships, better communication, and focusing on what really matters to you. Hey, what has to end right now, right? And what have you realized that, hey, this needs to end, and then it actually ends, and you're in the space of really just recovering from the drama. And I feel like after May and, I uh, know, April and May are the eclipses, but October and November, I believe, brings back some more eclipse energy too. So the in-between time is when you really need to use your energy to get more focused and grounded and really enjoy the summer, right? Enjoy the summer. Uh, make sure that you line yourself up before these eclipses come up too, Okay and you're going to end out the year in the right way if you allow yourself to end and close things that you don't need anymore relationships thought patterns anything like that four of spades queen of clubs and eight of diamonds okay so if you're feeling unstable this is telling you know that stability will come back to your home your health your life all the hard times that you're going through they're just recreating structure in your life okay um, the Queen of Clubs is just reminding you that you are powerful and you can put yourself in that position and and create peace in your life and, and charm. And that peace and charm is going to bring in a wonderful lover in your life or a wonderful person in your life, right? And just try to balance your money and make sure that it works for you. And save, save your money, save up something, have a good savings and invest in it even, right? I'm going to go as far as saying that and try to, you know, have a budget. Why, you know, spend like a crazy person and like your mind control. I think a lot of us since 2020 have learned that we are team us and you just have to um, make sure that you are financially stable and well, if you didn't know before. Strength card or strength stone is the... the the stone that popped up that I want to share with you. Look at that Mars energy coming through again saying, hey, protect your energy, protect what you feel is yours. Six is coming through with love. I feel like I'm just going to leave it at love, harmony, and balance is what six is offering to you. And the Leo energy is offering to you joy, have fun. You know, be fun to be around by yourself and be fun to be around with others. Another message is coming around is I am free and at peace. 
I want to go back to the Leo. You might know a Leo that might be testing you or bringing drama to you or or um, a Leo that might um, have a problem that needs help with. Help them out the best you can and be in the middle. I feel like that's what the temperance agent a angel is saying. Okay, that's what I feel. All right, don't make things any worse. Ten of Cups, and I feel like I'm giving love to the Tower card because it, it's something that you already know that needed to end. All right? Please click like, check out my community page and my blog. I will see you next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.